tell me if I'm summarizing this right. My sister went to COC too. Oh, right. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so my sister cool. goes to COC. You go to college at Charleston. Yep. Yep. Post college, you fuck off. You go over to Europe, hang out for a little bit. You come back. Pops is a pilot. Mom's yep. the entrepreneur. Pops needed a gym with better times and access because of his crazy fucking hours. Yep, yep. They open the gym, but you get there, it's kind of fledging. It's not doing its thing. You step in, you correct the ship, yep. right? At that point, doing the gym is the thing. Cause you fix it, like, cool, I did this, yep. but like, at what point we were like, I'm gonna continue to do this. Yeah, so it was, yeah, pretty much, you know, spot on with that story. Um, you know, my mom's the, the entrepreneur, the go-getter. My dad's the meathead, but like he gets the job done. My mom will start it. My dad finishes it. Okay. They work really well together. Gold's gym pissed him off one day. He's like, fuck you. I'm just gonna start my own gym. Literally. I remember I was like in church and we're drawing up like gym plans and I was like, oh shit. And so they kind of like started the original gym in high school and I'm a rebel, you know, cause just cause my parents were doing it. I'm like, I'm not doing gym. I don't want to work in it. I'm, you know, I was an athlete. So I always like, you know, worked out, but I'm like, I'm not doing the gym. Sure. When it calls Charleston, exactly what you said. But I always was like, in college, I worked at a gym. I was always into fitness. I loved the atmosphere of just like bringing people together. You can connect with people over experiences, different backgrounds, cultures, just over fitness. If you see someone in shape, you know they worked hard to get that. You know, you don't just wake up with a six pack. So I liked that aspect and I came back from Europe and I was like, okay, I really wanna start something on my own. I'm really good at like bringing people together, creating experience and I love fitness. My parents were about to sell it. it it took off and then it became like a hobby or the hobby took off to a business plateau then started kind of like dying off. My mom was like, I'm done with this. I just wanted to have something sure. to play with. My dad's still working out. And then I kind of came in and I was like, look, give me a year or two. Let me like work my way through it. I'll start janitor shit. And um, if it, nothing happens, cool. If in a year or two, if it's exactly the same, let's sell it. You know, at least I got my hands wet. Yeah. Um, and then I just treated it like a startup, man. And I went in and I was like, cause I walked in after coming back and I was like, I wouldn't want to work out here. That was Why? like, what was the problem? It just felt like a basic, you know, like it just felt like, and you know, credit to my parents, they, they killed it. You know, like they did exactly it. But like I said, they weren't just like, you know, they started it and then they, they weren't like, you know, having that energy into it. And then like I, I worked out and I was just like, you know, I'm working out here because of my family, but I wouldn't like choose this gym. And that's kind of like the, the mindset. But it was they like, built okay. it for them. You thought of building it for someone else. Like you thought of like the kind of person that would come in there. Exactly. And then I was like, okay, like, I think I can make something cool with this. Like, let, like after you graduate college, there's a point where it's like hard to meet people, you know, like in yeah. college, you go to bars, doesn't matter. You meet people easy. When you graduate, it's like, okay, you meet people at your work or where you live, maybe at the pool. Other than that, where you go in the bars by yourself, it's hard. Unless you're a super outgoing guy or girl, it's a little bit difficult. So the gym's a place you go to by yourself, not weird, and you can just meet people. You can be around people, interactions or you know, or whatever. Yeah. It can be super platonic. So I was like, okay, this is a place where it can be a hub of like bringing my friends together. Cause that's, I grew up around my dad working out like the old school bodybuilding days where like, that was like the boys club. It was like him and his always homies. I remember I'd be, you know, in the gym and just kind of like watching them. And it was just like the boys club. And yeah. I, I liked that like vibe, you know, the Arnold days. We're sure. like, that's like, it was like that, like, you know, just a club. And so I liked that aspect. And I was like, okay, there's something to it of having just like, having those like bro talks and getting through breakups and like, you know, just having that atmosphere that was lost. And it just became like everyone in their own headphones, everyone in their own shit. I literally said, I treated it like a startup. I was like, if I were to build a gym, how would I start doing stuff? And I just learned everything. My mom, I was sitting with her, you know, looking at the books. How do you do this? You know, I was having hard talks with people. I fired someone for the first time, you know, like having those weird talks. Raising you know, membership prices on people. Yeah, yeah. And I came in and everyone was like, oh, this asshole, just because his parents, you know, here, he's just going to do it. And I, I had that chip on my shoulders, like, I'm going to outwork you. I'm going to prove through this that I can beat you by outworking you. And I'm not going to come in and just like, you know, the, the son of the, the boss's son. Yeah, yeah. And just come in and sit back and sip coffee and just like, whatever. Yeah. And I was like, no, I'm going to outwork everyone here. And I, that's essentially what I did.